Hey everybody, recently I did some traveling to visit some family and also celebrated a birthday. So in today's pickups video, I'm going to show you some of the things I picked up while I was out and about, as well as a few select birthday gifts I received. So let's start out with this. This is Labyrinth, the board game by Ravensburger. Never heard about this before, but I stumbled upon it in a garage sale for a whopping 75 cents. Looked pretty interesting, so I thought I'd pick it up. I also went to a local game store. Now they did one of my pet peeves and that is they didn't have prices on most of their stuff. And when you went to check out, they actually looked up the prices on eBay. However, they did give me some good prices. So overall, I'm pretty happy. I picked up these two Nintendo Power magazines. Well read, not in great condition, but they both still have their posters. They were $5 a piece. I also picked up two Atari 2600 games to reacquire for my collection. That is Turmoil as well as Gyrus. I already did reviews on both of these, but after reviewing the games, I sold them, and now I kind of want to rebuild my collection and focus on getting rid of doubles instead. So it's nice to reacquire those too. Turmoil cost me only $5, Gyrus was 10. Amazon Prime Day happened recently. I picked up this Sonic the Hedgehog diorama by Jack's Pacific for under $10, which I thought would make a cool backdrop for some of my videos. For my birthday, I got something I've wanted for a while, this Galvatron Transformer. I think Galvatron is a pretty cool take on the Megatron character, and he has that cool necklace with the Matrix attached to it. A nice touch. I also got this mini Destro in his set by Jada Toys, and this cool 750-piece Tetris puzzle. I look forward to doing a review on this one, putting it all together. Next, I got this Legend of Zelda Perler bead set. I've always kind of wanted to try one of these and now I'm going to do it with one of my favorite franchises and games of all times. Another birthday gift I got was this mini Starship Enterprise, which again, I hope to do a video on that as well. I went to a thrift store and for about $2, I picked up this, The Adventures of Batman on a two disc DVD set. This is very cool and my kids enjoyed these old cartoons as well. At another thrift store, again for about $2, I got this Princess Mononoke DVD, one of my favorite anime films of all time. And yet from another thrift store for another $2, I picked up this blockbuster cased movie bringing down the house i don't care about the movie at all i just liked it for the nostalgic value of the case alone i don't have one of these and now i do i went to a dollar tree and they actually had some good dvds in stock all brand new and blu-rays i got this satellite girl and milk cow know nothing about it but it looks like a movie that might be interesting to me i also got star trek for the voyage home on blu-ray which happens to be the first star trek movie i saw in a theater and Rampage also on Blu-ray. I went to a yard sale and I picked up two things for a quarter, including a copy of Ray Bradbury's The Martian Chronicles, which I've never read, and some replacement battleship pieces, which I actually need. We went to a Burger King and in the kids' meals, they were giving these mashup Looney Tunes DC superhero toys. One of my girls got this Daffy Duck Batman mashup, which she decided to give to me because I'm such a huge Batman fan. I think it's pretty cool. I also picked up some Hot Wheels, you know me. So I went to a Dollar General that had a mix of 2022 and 2023 uh, Hot Wheels. That includes this Snoopy Hot Wheel, this Braille Hot Wheel. There's actually Braille both on the plastic itself and the car itself, if you can read Braille. And this Corvette from the 80s series, which I've been kind of digging. And this Toyota van on a series of cars I already did from the 2023 set, now I have the 2022 version. I went to a Meijer during my travels. They had two Hot Wheels I hadn't seen before that I picked up. This version of the Batmobile and my favorite Hot Wheel from the video. I've been looking for one of these for over a year and that is the Land Speeder from Star Wars. They came out last year, 2022, never found one, but I, but I was very excited to grab this 2023 version. So there you go. That's some of my recent pickups from the past month or two. Let me know if there's anything you think is really cool in these pickups or something you want to see me make a video on in the comments below, and I will see you next time.